Welcome to Signal and System Lecture Series. Here in this session, I'll be going to explain symmetry property of Fourier series. So, when you have any Fourier transform of any signal, like see, if I have signal f of t and if it is having Fourier transform, if I represent that by f of n, then here I'll, I'll be explaining symmetry property. So symmetry property that again is getting bisected into two parts. One is for real signal and second is for imaginary signal. So how to apply symmetry property in real signal and how to apply symmetry property in imaginary signal that I'll be explaining in this session. So for real as well as imaginary, I'll be considering my input signal f of t and Fourier transform of that is f of n then real signal that is having symmetry property as per if you take conjugate of f of n then that will be f of minus n so that is what symmetry property for real signal and for imaginary signal conjugate of f of n that is minus of f of minus n. So conjugate of f of n is equals to f of minus n in case of real signals and conjugate of f of n that is equals to negative of f of minus n for imaginary signal. So that is what the basic symmetry property which is there in Fourier transform. So I will be explaining you how this relation is coming. So I'll derive this step by step. Now see what is f of n first of all. So here I have mentioned this with f of n that is what the coefficient which is there in Fourier transform. Like see this capital F of n that is Fourier transform. But this small f of n that is what coefficient of f of n. And in my previous session I have derived coefficient value. So here I will write that formula first. See this small f of n. So that is 1 by t integration from 0 to t f t e to the power minus j n omega 0 t dt. So this is how we have calculated value of constant. So let me write for both of the case. The reason is I will be deriving it for both of this case. One is for real and second is for imaginary. So f of n that is 1 by t integration from 0 to t f t e to the power minus j n omega 0 t dt. Now here I will explain you what is f of minus n. So that has to be conjugate of f of n that is what we are dealing with to prove for real signals. So if I consider f of minus n then we need to replace n with minus n. So now you'll be finding this signal that will change to instead of minus n, I need to place plus n as I'm calculating f of minus n. So minus minus will get plus. So e to the power j n omega 0 t where we are calculating f of minus n right now. Now two things that we need to understand here. In case of real signals, in case of real signals, it is only having real part. So when you calculate conjugate of it, so conjugate of real signal that is equals to that signal only. So this is what we need to understand for real signals. F of t that is conjugate of f of t and when you talk about imaginary signals so for imaginary signals f of t is equals to negative of conjugate of f of t why the reason is if you see some basic examples for real signals if i say i have x t that is real signal t so if you take conjugate of x t so that will be t only. But if you have imaginary signal, 
x of t is equals to j t then conjugate of this will be minus of j t right so for imaginary signal conjugate is for imaginary signal conjugate is negative of original signal and for real signal conjugate is that signal only so this is what we should know and i have made session based on what is real and what is imaginary signal so you can see that in signal and system playlist where i have explained this relation for real signal f of t is equals to conjugate of f of t and for imaginary signal f of t is equals to negative of conjugate of f of t so here this is what we have now if i take conjugate of both of this signal then you'll be finding see this is what f of t that is conjugate of f of t right and here conjugate of this is what e to the power minus j omega 0 t conjugate that will be this the reason is this is imaginary signal and integration dt so here this total conjugate that we can consider so combined conjugate combined conjugate means now i need to say this is what combined conjugate means conjugate of complete signal so this is what f of n so f of n conjugate that is equals to f of minus n so this is what we are dealing with to prove right so for real signal f of t is equals to conjugate of f of t and for imaginary signal f of t is equals to negative of conjugate of f of t that we need to remember here now to derive this relation f of conjugate of f of n that has to be negative of f of minus n so for that first i will be considering conjugate of f of n so here we have conjugate of f, f of n is this so conjugate of f of n that has to be conjugate of complete signal n omega 0 t dt and conjugate of it so let us apply this conjugate to both of these terms so 1 by t integration 0 to t conjugate of f of t e to the power minus j n omega 0 t and conjugate of it dt now as i have told you for imaginary signal for imaginary signal f of t is equals to negative of conjugate of f of t so here see conjugate of f of t that will be negative of f t so i can say constant f of n conjugate that will be now 1 by t integration 0 to t minus f t into conjugate of this that will be getting conjugate of negative signal will be e to the power that has to be e to the power plus j n omega 0 t dt and here we can say if i take negative sign outside then this will be 1 by t integration 0 to t f t e to the power now you see it will be if i write minus sign over here then in counts it will be minus n omega 0 t dt so what is this it is minus of f of minus n so minus n that i need to consider as basic formula is what basic formula is 1 by t integration 0 to t f t e to the power minus j n omega 0 t 
so minus of minus that is how it is there so we can say it is what f of minus n so this is what we are dealing with to prove about so for real signal constant is f of minus n is equals to f of n and for imaginary signal when you take conjugate so f of n conjugate here so here when you take conjugate of this it will be negative of that so this is symmetry property in fourier transform thank you so much for watching this video please do give your valuable suggestions definitely based on it in future i will make videos which will be solving your queries thank you so much for watching this video